Hi everybody, Father Bill Holtzinger here, and this is your Friday Reflection. Well, I must tell you that uh, this coming weekend, we have some special stuff going on, but I'll get to that in a minute. But I want to share with you the readings that occurred this Wednesday, this last Wednesday. I'm recording it on Wednesday, but I think there's something to be uh, grasped here. And if you go back to Wednesday, you'll see in the Book of Kings, where Solomon was greeted by the Queen, Queen Sheba. And of course, she's a very wealthy person. She came to see King Solomon because he was known for his great wisdom and wealth. And that he had. But see, he prayed for wisdom. And curiously enough, the next day on Friday, he's lost it all. What happened? He prayed that he would have wisdom. And he was given wisdom, but things got in his way. Things distracted him. He eventually had several wives, and he married them, and they were from other religions in his case. And that encouraged him to water down his own faith, and that pretty much led to his destruction. He lost his focus. He lost his singular focus. We can do that sometimes. Think about what is something that you're going to do today or tomorrow or this weekend? Do you know what you are going to do and why you're going to do it? Do you have a singular focus for doing it? In fact, you might have a singular focus, but you may be get, maybe you may be getting distracted because other things get in the way. Like, for example, maybe you're going to go to a, a sporting event. You're going there for maybe a good reason to maybe see your grandchildren or a, a friend. Maybe you're just going to enjoy the competition. But you may get distracted and your focus vary because possibly we may have other reasons. We might notice that so-and-so is going to be there, so I need to dress up differently. I need to look just right. Or maybe you get all caught up in the game and you become a very bad, let's say, supporter watching the game. and start yelling and screaming. That's not why you were there. Maybe, maybe you've lost your focus. Remember their singular focus. If you're going to do something and you know you need to do something, maybe there will be a good outcome. And maybe you know that, and maybe you know that you'll get accolades for doing it. Maybe it's something difficult, and you're going to have people angry at you. You know you need to do this thing, whatever it is. Are you going to let these other side issues get in your way so that your singular focus is now diverted and you're distracted? And in fact, maybe sometimes we've replaced that singular focus with something completely different that it was never supposed to have, or we were never supposed to do, or that's, that focus was not the focus, and it becomes kind of an idolatry in our part. Instead of doing something and we get famous for it, we lose our track, and instead of just doing it because we love doing it, now we're doing it for the fame, which is vanity. Anyway, I want to bring this up because this is what we heard, uh, at least kind of recordings on Wednesday, and tomorrow, Thursday, Solomon has lost it all. It's because he lost his singular focus. What are you going to do this weekend? Try to maintain the singular focus and don't let anything distract you from that good singular focus. Well, this weekend, speaking of this weekend, this weekend, we have Father Anthony's going to be offering the homily, and he's working really hard. He's been thinking about some very deep stuff, and he's going to share some a story, at least one that I know of, I think, uh, at least that we talked about, and it's really dear to him. And I think it'll be very helpful for a lot of people to hear as he tries to move on into his, his message he wants to offer us. Also this weekend will be the renewal of the love for couples. That is, husbands and wives, when you come... Know that at the end of the homily, whether it's me or Father Anthony, we'll be leading you in a renewal of your love. There's nothing much to really know about it ahead of time other than just repeat after us and we'll give you some words to say. They're kind of close to the vows, but you're not actually saying the vows. You only do the vows once, but you can renew your love all kinds of times. Then, after this weekend is Ash Wednesday. Ash Wednesday is a time for us to really think about... Lent, and what are we going to do for Lent? What might be a singular focus for Lent? Think about it now. And don't let anything distract you. 
In fact, maybe that might be the thing. Just ask God to help you in your Lenten season to be singularly focused on something that you should do and to let your left hand know what your right is doing. Even if you get accolades or you get punished or ridiculed, know that singular focus and stay with it. I'll see you this weekend. God bless you. Bye-bye.